This is the Dyson V11. You might be thinking to yourself, do you really want to spend all that money on a vacuum? And the answer is, if you have the ability to spend the money on a Dyson vacuum, I'd really recommend you go ahead and do it. The Dyson vacuums have been known around the world for many years, and that's because they work really well. Yes, you can get cheaper models, and they do an all right job. But I've had many vacuums over the years, and none of them have performed as well as this Dyson vacuum here. This is why I still have this Dyson vacuum. First thing I like about this vacuum is it's cordless. It's a stick vacuum. You might get more power if you did have a corded version, but this one here really sucks up a lot of dirt and makes our floors incredibly clean compared to other vacuums. This V11 comes with an anti-tangle head on it, and that means that you're never going to get those hairs tangled in the head, and I really like that because there's nothing worse than having to come in here and clear hair out of the head of the vacuum. It sucks and it takes a lot of time. You can see here that her vacuum's had a lot of use. It's all scraped up and scratched. But this head here is the workhorse and it gets most of the use out of the vacuum tool attachments because there are many attachments that come with it. You get a little bristle brush, you get this purple thing here, which I like because it lights up. And you get this other brush, you get this attachment here, which I'm not too sure the best use for this, but what I do use it for is cleaning the sofa. I find it does a really good job for that. Then you get this little piece here where you can kind of turn it into different shapes and help. If you are interested in getting a Dyson V11 for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. On the top here you can change the suction level so you can put it on eco mode so you get the longest runtime. Put it on auto where it decides how much suction it needs based on the surface that you're vacuuming. So if you're on carpet, it's going to turn it up a little bit higher than you would be if you're on a laminate or hardwood floor or tile. And you can put it on the boost mode where if you really want to get a deep clean into the rug then you can turn that on and you'll get a better suction or more suction to where when you're turning it on that mode there you're going to get a lot less battery than you would if you're running it in eco mode or in the auto mode typically i use it in the auto mode and let the vacuum decide when it needs more power or not something you do need to do on this is clean the filter and you just pull it out and remove it i do need to clean mine it's a little bit dirty here and you can just slot it back in once you cleaned it and get back to vacuuming you can remove this battery so for whatever reason you maybe want to get another battery or need to replace this battery you can just get a new battery replace it and be on your way to vacuuming again emptying out the canister is really simple you pull off the rest of the vacuum and then you just push on this red button here and empty it into the trash For whatever reason, this one lights up so you can see if you're vacuuming underneath things, you can see whether it's clean or not. Overall, I really do like this vacuum. I get about 23, 24 minutes of runtime before it dies and it charges really quickly too. You can even install a little charging base on the wall so you can plug the charger in and then you can just slot this in so it's got a place to be stored. And that's more than enough time that I need to vacuum my house if I'm going to be vacuuming for more than 23 minutes. I've got a problem, so I don't want to be doing that. So if you are in the market for a vacuum, I'd really recommend you get this Dyson V11. You won't be disappointed in its cleaning capabilities and how well it performs at keeping your house clean.